today. I'm still fucking grounded. I'm tired as But that is not important. What is important is that today we are cooking pancakes. I'm leaning on the fridge. You can see, <clears throat> got hungry, Jack. We're actually gonna be making blueberry pancakes, and fuck, I just hurt myself. But not that much. Anyway, blueberry pancakes. We are going to need the blueberries and the uh, pancakes. And um, put a lot of sp. Oh shit, that's not blueberries. Never mind. We're just making regular <laughs> pancakes with cinnamon. Oh fuck, those are all of these things. I hate all of those. Yeah, you definitely don't put all of them in your pancakes, guys. Anyway, so, you just do what, of course, I put spices and stuff in it just to make sure that it tastes phenomenal. Uh, okay, so one cup mix. It says it makes six to eight pancakes, but those that have to do like microscopic pancakes also make six to eight of them. So, don't worry. It's not going to make six to eight pancakes. It's going to make, like, two. Yeah, you're gonna wanna do this by the sink. Oh fuck. That's a lot of mix. Um, so as you can see I went over. It's better to go over in this case. Um I'm gonna be stirring it all cooked with um what's it called? Hatchula. Damn, I really should have cleaned all my stuff. But you just scrape it off. Yeah, scrape, scrape it off. And now you just pour that on. <clears throat> um, then you're going to take three fourths a cup of water. everywhere. This is a really dirty thing. Oh god, I really should have washed the spatula, but I have to use the spatula. I have to use this. I don't really want to, but I have to. Um, three-fourths cup of water. So you take that, and... This is one fourth a cup. So three of these. Two. And three. So now you just have to stir that up. Um, you can take this and just stir it up for a little bit. You can always add more water if you feel that it is too sticky, but you you want it to be in the it, like in the middle of thick and thin. If it's like too thin, then you know it'll be like really thin. Obviously, if it's too thick, um, it'll take a long time to cook because it'll like you know it's too thick, so it has to heat up a lot of pancake. Hard to explain, kind of. I can't really get my thoughts off of my mind, but, <clears throat> like, out of my mouth. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Anyway, so this is, that's, yeah, it's good. But, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. All around this time, though, oh, jeez. See, I like my stove. It's really nice. It's like buttons. Um, you should need to dry this thing off. Because I washed it yesterday and didn't dry it. <clears throat> but yeah, I like the stove a lot. It's just buttons instead of like a gas stove. Where you like, have to be really careful with it. <clears throat> so yeah. Take this uh, from right front. Turn that on. Put this at about... Um, here. Just for now. Uh, and make sure it's set to all. You guys probably don't have a stove like me, but if you do, yeah. Best stove.
here. Yes, those are easier, but you have to watch out because they could, you know, explode and kill you. Anyway, then I'm going to season it all up. Where is it? That's cayenne pepper. That's definitely not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for medicine. Come on, let me hide. Curry powder. Jesus, what is it? <laughs> I'm looking for the cinnamon. There's so many damn spices in here. It's ginger. God damn it. There's so much stuff in here. Oh, chili powder. Jesus Christ. You guys do not understand the struggle when you have like 20 spices to try to find one. Poultry seed. Oh my god. This is like so hard to find. Here we go. Jesus. The cinnamon. So we're going to take some cinnamon. Show you guys how I do this. And then you're just going to pour a little bit in. I actually over poured slightly. A little bit of spice goes a long way. So um, that's how much I have. The lighting needs to be good. Lighting was just got a second ago. That's better. Oh, that's a way better angle. And then you're just gonna stir that up and mix the cinnamon in. Um, and it should be able to smell cinnamon. And this is off, off the thing. Actually, I know I didn't overpour. There's actually a little light on the cinnamon. Oh fuck! I stole a little on the floor. Jesus, that. Okay, that's definitely. And now it's starting to change the color. This is going to be very cinnamony. Cinnamony's a word. Deal with it. <laughs> and, uh, yep, that's everything. So now, once the pot heats up, perfect timing, it's just not heating up. Um, where is, oh, here's the butter. To make this, oh, God damn, the camera moved. Better when it's when you can see the you can see the stove that way. Okay, so take this. This is all the butter I have right now. Put that on. Now I'm gonna see clutch. And I'm gonna need more butter, so I'm gonna clutch this. Gotta get new butter in here while this is cooking on a very high temperature. Butter can actually spread itself, so it's really not really a worry. All right, <clears throat> and there we go. Into the butter. Look at this freaking wrapping paper. Ooh, that's that's nice. I'm gonna need that clear. Now the butter's melted. Just make sure to get it around. Oh yes. <laughs> it's not even anything that special. Um oh god, I got butter on the thing. Yep, so now you're going to take this, uh, it needs a little more water. Cut, you guys couldn't even like, hear the water, I just barely put any in. And then, pour <clears throat> right there, in the center of the pan. I have like a little bit left, <clears throat> well not really. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And see, so I just put it right in the center. It's cooking. Um, a lot of bubbles will start to form and they'll pop. Um, the actually, it'll the pancake itself will actually start to rise when it's ready. See so how the edges are like thin now? They'll actually rise and become like you know actually like thicker. See, so yeah, don't worry, the pancakes can be thicker than this. Let me get the plate ready, actually, because you don't want to burn it. <clears throat> ah, fuck. <clears throat> so, 
So it's already starting to rise. It actually rose a lot here. See, it's actually almost ready. Can you guys see that? Ugh, can't get you too much, or else I'll burn the phone. Like, drop the phone in the pan, and then I'll have a uh, pancake with a side of phone. Or, uh, something like that. If I just touch it. And it's still almost ready. Let's check another side, actually. Yep, it's ready. Don't go. Get the way down. And, uh, the hard part is flipping it the right way. It's really hard. This is not the right spatula to do this with, but YOLO. I'll have to put the camera down for this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, that was a really good flip. See, it is now becoming ready. And there's a little excess crap that I don't want. So let me just get this up. Come on. Come on. Yes. No! Oof, I thought it was about to fall on the stove. Let me get all this excess stuff up. Can you do that? I don't know. I have time for this one. There we go. Put that in there for me. Um, is this ready? Where's the plate at? over there. Um, it's, uh, about ready. So yeah, this is a cinnamon pancake. There's uh, obviously cinnamon in it, as you guys saw. Put a good amount of cinnamon in there. And now it's ready. So what I'm going to do is turn off the stove. <clears throat> there we go. And uh, <clears throat> what I do, I'm, I'm being really careful not to touch my leg with the pot. What I do afterwards, if this camera will stand up, is I put water in it and cool it off. off a little bit because that was cold water and I just put it in here. Alright then. And now the best part is you take actually you take a knife and fork to eat with Alright guys, and uh, that's about it. There's actually a little bit of pancake batter left over. Um, so I couldn't, I'm, I might make like a second pancake. No, I think I'm just going to throw it away. But, um, yeah, there's all that. Here we got the actual pancake right there. So, um, and then of course you have the syrup. Even though there's cinnamon, you still want the syrup on it. Bottom of the plate hot. But, <clears throat> you're not done just yet. Last thing you need, we have an empty cup. What are we gonna do? Take some milk, and uh, as you can see, we need to get milk. I'm about to go to Costco, and there you go. Last step is just take some. Uh, this is my favorite kind of syrup. We're almost out of it, so we got this Wegmans brand. So. so it, <clears throat> and I'm gonna take it, and I'm just gonna pour on over. Um, see, it's making the butter lob move. 
Um, but yeah, that's that's really it. Now you have a complete cinnamon pancake, all buttered up. And now I'm out of syrup. And you got milk. And now you're all good to go. So thank you all very much for watching. Um, so yeah, cooking with Kyle is here's episode two. I guess um, you'll see how many more episodes there are. There are gonna be more. I'm gonna make homemade pizza because um, I I know how I found out how to recently. I've never done it before actually. So um, yep. But tell us the way to Ray and let's try the food afterwards. Mmm. Wow. The flavor is so extravagant. The consistency is perfect. Kind of be like Rachel Ray. Like, Rachel Ray, you never know if you're getting an honest opinion or not with cooking shows because they're always, they always like flip out over their own food. Their own. Like, they're always like, wow, this tastes so amazing. Guys, make sure to purchase this recipe for four ninety nine on my website. Like, you, you, you can't trust them. They just want to, like, make it seem like they did it right. All this stuff probably is good, but it's probably not as good as they make it out to be. But, yeah, that's uh, everything here. So, enjoy the pancakes if you're making some. And don't forget, keep yourself... Uh, Hydrated. Keep your thirst quenched with some milk. I gotta, have, I gotta finish this quick. Um, we're about to go to Costco. Thank you all so much for watching. That's how you make cinnamon pancakes. See you guys later. Peace.